Some will go okay, to just wanted to get a sense of uh, the message there on education. That's inside the White House. Outside on the North Lawn is Rich Edson to bring us the flavor and what he's picking up right now. We should see the president there in 45 minutes. Rich, good morning. Yeah, hey, good morning, Bill. Well, right there, what you're seeing right now is the East Room of the White House. It's not that far of a walk over to the Oval Office, and that's where the action really is going to happen in a little bit this morning. We're still trying to figure out specifics on the schedule here, but a traditional meeting between the incoming and outgoing presidents when President-elect Trump get back here to the White House and meet with President Biden in the Oval Office later today. You know, I got to tell you, you haven't seen a media footprint at the White House here really like this since uh, President Trump left office back in 2021. This is going to be his first time back at the White House since then. Uh, Trump never extended Biden that invite in 2020. The White House refuses to say what Biden wants to discuss, but we have gotten some hints from Biden's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan. He told CBS that the president will likely urge Trump not to abandon Ukraine because doing so means more instability in Europe. Beyond specifics, the White House is really playing up this idea of the images that we're going to see in the Oval Office, a peaceful transfer of power. The two presidents sitting together before their conversation uh, and really, really highlighting that the United States is still, through a popular election, can realize, recognize elections and transfer the presidency from one party to the next. You saw the First Lady Jill Biden there. It is now confirmed that she will not have a meeting today, though she reached out to Melania Trump for the invite. Uh, incoming Melania, uh, First Lady Melania Trump will not be meeting. She tweeted, or her office tweeted this morning, Mrs. Trump will not be attending today's meeting at the White House. Her husband's return to the Oval Office to commence the transition process is encouraging, and she wishes him great success. In this instance, several unnamed sources in the media continue to provide false, misleading, and inaccurate information. Be discerning with your source of news. There has been some reporting out there, notably from the New York Post, that the reasoning behind Melania Trump not coming to the White House today is because of that summer 2022 raid on Mar-a-Lago, the Trump's residence. In the documents case, the White House maintained at the time that the president was not informed in the decision-making to raid Mar-a-Lago, but uh, Melania Trump or her office there speaking for the first time about her decision not to attend today's meeting. Still waiting for some scheduling here. The uh, president-elect is not too far away, close to the Capitol, make the trip up to the White House. He'll make a similar trip on January 20th, uh, but here meeting with uh, President Biden in just a short while. Good Bill deal. Dana, thank you, you, Rich. going to be an interesting read someday very soon. Uh, thank you from the North Lawn. Good to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.